Hello everyone, welcome back again at Military TV. Today we will discuss another episode about Sejong, the Great Class Destroyer from South Korea. The Sejong, the Great Class, or Sejong Du Wang Class, are the lead ship of her class of guided missile destroyers built for the Republic of Korea Navy, ROKN, under the Korean Destroyer Experimental KDX program. It was the first Aegis-built destroyer of the service and was named after the fourth king of the Joseon dynasty of Korea, Sejong the Great. Sejong the Great class, or DDG-991, was constructed by the Hyundai Heavy Industry Shipyard in Ulsan, and it was launched in May 2007. The ship is the third phase of the South Korean Navy's KDX program, a substantial shipbuilding program which is geared towards enhancing ROKN's ability to successfully defend the maritime areas around South Korea from various modes of threats as well as becoming a blue water navy. The design of these ships borrow heavily from features of the American Arleigh Burke class and the Japanese Atago class, and share numerous common components and systems as well but has a largely original construction and composition. In spite of it all, the Sejong destroyers are the largest surface warships to carry the Aegis weapon system. Likely owing to the use of only fully developed technologies and subsystems, the Sejong the Great class destroyers cost only $923 million per vessel. It is worth noting that its price tag makes these among the most inexpensive Aegis warships ever constructed. At 11,000 tons full load, length of 166 meters, beam of 21.4 meters, and a draft of 6.25 meters, the KDX-3 Sejong the Great Destroyers are by far the largest destroyers in the South Korean Navy, and indeed are larger than most destroyers in the navies of other countries, and built slightly bulkier and heavier than Arleigh Burke class destroyers or Atago class destroyers to accommodate 32 more missiles and more than 300 crew members. As such, some analysts believe that this class of ship is more appropriately termed a class of cruisers rather than destroyers. In addition, Sejong the Great Destroyers are equipped with the Aegis Combat System developed by Lockheed Martin. The Aegis system consists of SPY-1 radar and other components including SPY-1DV transmitter and MK-99 fire control system. The radar acquires and tracks multiple targets such as aircraft and missiles. This system, integrated with the Mark 41 vertical launching system, delivers missiles against multiple threats in different attack scenarios. It can be used as an integrated single ship system and in a ship-to-ship -ship network. In July 2010, the Sejong the Great DDG-991 successfully completed the Combat System Ship Qualification Trials C-Squat at the Pacific Missile Range Facility off the Hawaiian island of Kauai. And now let's have a look at other essential parts, that is ship weaponry. In terms of armament, Sejong the Great features a total of 80 cell arrangements of Mark 41 vertical launch systems for SM-2 Block 3B and 4 RIM-66 standard medium-range surface-to-air missiles. These are contained in 48 and 32 cell pairings, one fitted forward and the other aft. Another 48-cell grouping houses 32 Hyun Mu-3 series cruise missiles for use against land targets, and 16 times k Asrock Red Shark anti-submarine missiles to deal with underwater threats. Six K-745LW Blue Shark torpedoes are also carried. A turreted 5-inch Mark 45 Mod 4 naval gun adds a more conventional attack system to the warship, and is seated in its traditional place at the forecastle. The 30mm Goalkeeper close-in weapon system, SeaWiz, provides the necessary response to short-range incoming airborne threats such as cruise missiles, UAVs, and aircraft. All told, this gives Sejong the Great proper reach against most any naval-going threat to the warship, be they aerial, on the sea, or under it in nature. The sensors consist of four ANSPY-1DV phased array radar sets, ANSPG-62 fire control radar, a DSQS-21BZ hull-mounted sonar, an MTEQ towed array sonar system, and a SAGAM infrared search and track system. 
The ANSPY-1DV is capable of being used as a passive radar and the Sagem IRST is already a passive system, giving the Sejong the Great class immense situational awareness capabilities even at maximum emissions control state, giving it substantial stealth capability. At the stern position is a full-service helicopter deck, with hangar space for two Super Lynx or SH-60 Seahawk helicopters. These systems are kept aboard to increase the eyes and ears of the warship by carrying advanced sonar and radar equipment as well as anti-ship and anti-submarine weaponry. Helicopters also provide greater over-the-horizon vision. The landing pad can seat one additional helicopter beyond the two house systems, allowing the warship to essentially field a total of three rotor craft under extreme circumstances. The helipad can also accept supply delivery helicopters and rotary-winged unmanned aerial vehicles as needed. While the propulsion for the Sejong the Great class is four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines driving two shafts with 100,000 horsepower, and the additional power for the ship's system is provided by three Rolls-Royce AG9140RF gas turbine generators as the electrical power demand of the class system is too great for the LM2500 alternators alone. Enough fuel bunkerage is also provided for 5,500 nautical miles range at full speed in excess of 30 knots. So the weapons, sensors, fire controls, propulsion, and other systems are fully automated and networked together via the Aegis Combat Information System. The version currently used in the Sejong the Great class is Baseline 7 Phase 1. This system allows the ship to detect, identify, evaluate, and engage targets with no input from the crew other than the decision to engage. The system can also display several thousand contacts and track or engage up to 100 simultaneously. It is also possible for the crew to operate these systems manually, as in earlier guided missile warships, without using the Aegis system. The class also has a Maritime Air Support Operations Center MASOC system, allowing it to coordinate the operations of all friendly tactical aircraft in the vicinity. In 2012, the Republic of Korea Navy formally made a request to the government for three additional Aegis warships, with an eye towards having them in commission by 2027. If these vessels are authorized, it is likely that they will be additional Sejong the Great class destroyers, or possibly an evolved version of the design. The manufacturers retain the ability to construct additional Sejong the Great class, but it is unknown as of late 2015 if any other will be ordered by the ROKN and very unlikely that KDX-3 type vessels would be offered for export, as many of its key technologies are classified and barred from further proliferation by the US government. Barring unforeseen developments, the Sejong the Great class destroyer will remain in service until at least the mid 2030s. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for another episode of Destroyer Ship.